Here goes Sadie. That scared me. <laughs> back out in the garage tonight for a small project uh, tonight's task is to remove this uh, old mile marker winch off the Bronco and I'm gonna put this uh, new worn one I got on it this has been a it's actually been a pretty good winch this mile marker I've used it for a lot of years um, but I kind of wanted to go to synthetic rope and after looking into it decided to go with uh, 12,000 pound worn uh, so I could get the synthetic rope and a wireless remote so I'm gonna tear this one off and see what uh, it's gonna take to put that one on hopefully I don't end up having to cut this grill back anymore or anything else we'll uh, See how it goes. marker out on the ground here just gonna pull this uh, fair lead off it's taken a beating over the years slammed it on numerous rocks so we're gonna pull that off and then this will be all the way off luckily it's just two bolts hopefully again they're not seized on there set them side by side see what it looks like the size comparison no they look they're pretty close in length a little bit wider but not too bad Maybe set it up in here and see what it looks like in here Luck. Looks good sitting in there, doesn't it, Sways? Yeah. 
So this is my camera. <laughs> All right, let me borrow this for a minute. And look up in here. We've got to make these four bolt holes line up, which could be the trick. Let's see what else this thing came with. Bolt. And the hook. All right, the bolt. And the ground cable. Yeah. Yeah, let's see how that's going to look up there. The hole could be too big. I think it'll work out. It doesn't quite cover the bottom, but one good thing is this doesn't stick out near as far, so hopefully I'm less likely to slam it on the rocks and Oh, I have wherever else we're going. Okay. That's all of it. All right, Saturday morning, we're back at the Bronco, getting this winch switched out. So, uh, I think it should pretty much bolt in where the mile marker was, the, the worn should. So I'm just gonna set it down in there, see if the bolt holes line up and go from there. Gotta make sure, uh, they give you these little square nuts that go in the bottom of the winch. Make sure you put those in. Four of them. Set it down in there. All right. One of these bolts to give you two different lengths bolts with the winch, shorter one and a long one, we'll try the shorter one first, the plate's not that thick that it's going through, as far as I can tell, but we'll see what happens. pattern as the mile marker. Maybe those are standard, I don't know, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and tighten them up and start working on the power. Get the battery cables. Round it up. The battery. So, hold it down. It wasn't bad at all. Start rounding these cables. No shock advised. That scared me. <laughs> a little bit of welding. <laughs> Barely touched that. <laughs> you don't want to do that. That was a no-no. Guess that's a good reason why I should have the negative battery cable unhooked while I'm working on it. Do not touch the ground of the positive. Just learn that the hard way. Hopefully you haven't done any damage. Alright. Oh, 
the cables are rubbing anywhere. You gotta be real careful to pay attention to that so you don't end up burning the thing down. Having the battery cable run through ventilation. So I'm still working on that. Get it powered up, see if it works. We got Sadie in here helping us today. Get out of there. Okay, grab the remote. <clears throat> awesome. Doesn't look like I burned it up. It's remote working. It looks like you just pretty much press and hold this mode button until it lights up. And it's working. You can run it wireless or you can run it with the wire also. Now we see to put the hook on. Here it is. Okay, you can get the hook put on here. Dog's having a panic attack for some reason. Okay. Awesome. Pretty much ready for action. Pretty well got it installed, just got to button up a few things. Uh, might have to put a little bit of something to protect these cables where they come through a few spots here and so it's not rubbing on the metal. Get that done, it'll be, it'll be done.